Yes, and just $50 will get you a t-shirt to take part in the Walk Run WAG event. It's happening next Saturday in Wauwatosa, and that $50 also pays for microchipping of two cats or dogs to get them home safe if they become lost. The Milwaukee Area Domestic Animal Control Commission, Kathy Schilling Law, and her dog Rory. Rory, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Join us live on Daybreak. She's tired today, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I wanted to talk to you about the dogs that you save. Yeah. Um, one of them, his name was Duke, and just a couple of months ago, the uh, Milwaukee police bashed into a car. It, the dog had been left there for up to four days, and we have video of, of the rescue and how he was saved. That's just one example, and that happens so often, right? Almost every day we get, we get cases of abuse, neglect, and abandonment. So Duke is just one of those examples of an abandoned dog in Milwaukee. And, and um, Maddox takes in 10,000 animals a year, and a lot of them are stray, abused, abandoned, neglected. And that one found a forever home. He sure did. Wow. Yeah, and he was a, he was a fun guy. He yeah. was so happy. He too. was. <laughs> and then we have another one um, that we're going to pull up online from your Facebook where a dog, unfortunately, was put on some type of hot surface yeah. and burned. Yeah, and we see burns, chemical burns, um, burns like this often at Matic. It's, it's a long process for healing. And this particular dog, we don't know how he was burned, but he is at a rescue now and getting the treatment that he needs. So we're always that first step. We're, we're kind of ground zero of, of animals in Milwaukee. And the one thing that, that you guys have is that you have uh, donations. And if you want to show that full screen that we made, $50 pays for microchipping and 250 covers the cost of ringworm, 500 funds, five spay or neuter surgeries. So this makes a huge difference. You guys are making a big difference in our community. Yeah, thank you. Friends of Matic that, you know, all the donations go directly to the animals at Matic. And that's just a, one example of all the medical stuff that, that Friends of Matic has been able to pay for. They've done knee surgeries, heart surgeries, eye surgeries. There's so many things that these animals in Milwaukee County need before they can be made adoptable. So I went to the walk on wag for the first time last year. I can't believe that was already a year ago. Yeah. It was so much fun. Um, so many people that are happy and love their animals and you get to see the outcome, right? Yeah, and we get to see a lot of our alumni at the event and a lot of just really love dogs and it's just the opposite of, so you know, what we see daily at Matic. Mm -hmm. So we really encourage people to bring their well socialized animals out, have a good time, lure coursing, agility, mm -hmm. do the run, do the walk. Um, bring your dog in a stroller if it's a tiny dog and he doesn't want to, he doesn't, he can't make two miles, that's fine. There's big ones, little ones, um, everybody got along really well. Yeah. Hart Park is so beautiful in Wauwatosa. Too. Yeah. They have a really great, a really great venue there and there's going to be a ton of vendors all around the band shell. We, um, we're full up with vendors this year, so there's lots of great places to buy leashes, collars, other, uh, Supporters, right. so. a whole row of tents. So yeah. Walk Run Wag is taking part Saturday, July 14th, starting at nine o'clock at Hart Park in, in Wauwatosa. We have a link on how to register. We'll have that after the show at tmj4.com. Kathy and Rory, thanks for waking up with us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Little camera shy this morning. Little huh? camera shy. He doesn't even know what TV is, and he's, he's gorgeous. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Coming up, Rod Burks has.